What is the periodic table of elements for kids? Have you ever seen one of these charts before? This is called the periodic table of elements. And today, we're going to learn all about what it is and what all of these letters mean. Ready? Let's go. Before we talk more in detail about the periodic table of elements, let's first talk about what an element actually is. An element is material that is made from a single kind of atom. In fact, a lot of the time, scientists use the term element and the term atom in place of each other. Atoms or elements are the building blocks for all matter in the universe. Examples of different kinds of elements include hydrogen, oxygen, calcium, iron, helium, and gold, among many others. In all, there are about 118 known elements. Want to know a fascinating fact? Only 94 of these elements exist naturally on Earth. And here's another fascinating fact. The elements found on Earth are the same as the ones found on Mars. Cool, right? The structure of each atom contains the number of protons and electrons they have. Because of this, every element has what is called an atomic number, which is the same number as the element's number of protons. Why is this atomic number important? Well, that is where the periodic table of elements comes in. But first, let's go back in time for a minute. Way back in the year 1869, a Russian chemist named Dmitry Mendeleev tried to organize elements into a grid or table. At the time, only 65 elements had been discovered, and Mendeleev decided to order them by weight. He also decided to group elements with similar properties or reactions in the same column. Here's a fun fact about Mendeleev. He loved to play cards. So he wrote down the weight of each element on a separate card and then sorted them like they would be organized in solitaire. Who says science can't be fun? Mendeleev knew that his table was incomplete because he had left spaces where elements should be, but that had not been discovered yet. He even named some of these elements and predicted what they would be like. 27 years after Mendeleev created his table, electrons were discovered, which meant that his table needed to be revised. And in 1913, a chemist named Henry Mosley discovered that elements are different from each other because their atoms have different numbers of protons, which led to the creation of the atomic number and the version of the periodic table of elements that we have today. In modern times, chemical elements are still arranged in order of their increasing atomic number, which is why this number is so important. Take hydrogen, for example. Hydrogen is the first element listed on the periodic table because it has just one proton. And next on that same row, you will find helium, which contains two protons. These rows are called periods. There are seven total periods in the periodic table. Remember how Mendeleev grouped similar elements in the same column? The periodic table is organized in that same way. These vertical columns are called groups, and there are 18 of them. Because of the work of chemists like Mendeleev and Mosley, scientists today have a guide to working with the elements when they do research and experiments. Even though we are not professional scientists, we can still use the periodic table to help us with all sorts of sciencey stuff. How? Glad you asked. Each element on the periodic table has several parts you can easily spot. Each element has a name and a chemical symbol. This is the symbol and name for the element calcium. Here's an interesting fact about calcium. You have about two pounds of it inside your body. Seriously, it is mostly located in your bones and teeth. Calcium is also found in milk, seashells, and in cement. Like most elements on the table, 
the abbreviation for calcium starts with the same letter as its name. Sometimes, though, other letters are used. This is because sometimes the abbreviations come from the Latin words for the elements. For example, AU is the symbol for gold, because it comes from the word aurum, which is the Latin word for gold. Want to know a fascinating fact you can share with your friends? J is the only letter never used in the periodic table of elements. The more you study the table, the more you will remember these exceptions. And as you do research, you will find that some versions of the periodic table of elements show more information than others. For example, some tables may only include the atomic number and element symbol, while others include the element name, atomic weight, and more. But let's get back to calcium for a minute. Calcium's atomic number is 20. This means that calcium has a total of 20 protons. Along with atomic number, there is also atomic weight or mass. This is calculated by adding up the number of protons and the number of neutrons in an atom or element. The atomic weight for calcium is 40.08. If we look at the periodic table together, we can see that calcium is in the alkali metals group and can be found in period 4. The best part? We can find out all of the same information for every other known element, all thanks to the periodic table. Wow! We just learned a lot of new things. It is definitely time to review. True or false? Dmitry Mendeleev was the first known scientist to order elements into a table. True. Fill in the blank. An element typically has the same number of protons and blank. Electrons. How many known elements are there in the universe? I bet you said 118. Fantastic job, friends! Even though learning and understanding the periodic table of elements might not seem super useful to you today, it is an important part of understanding the ingredients that make up all matter. And who knows, maybe one day you will be the one to add a newly discovered element to the table and make an impact just like Mendeley, Mosley, and chemists working today. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.